Hey there, I'm Jocelyn, and today I'm going to make a fruit trifle. Um, I'm at my mother-in-law's house, and we've been last minute invited to a barbecue. It was sort of just spontaneous, and so I was like, well, you know, what do you want us to bring? And my mother-in-law is doing the coleslaw and baked beans and some other sides. So I said, well, I'll make dessert, but I'm in my mother-in-law's house, and it's not always the easiest thing to cook in someone else's house. So I wanted to do something quick and easy, um, without a lot of baking or whatever, but something that everyone would like. So I'm gonna make a trifle. I'm also sort of working a little different because I don't have all of my stuff. Um, I have a big trifle bowl at home, and a trifle bowl is like straight-sided and more or less straight bottom bowl glass, so you can see all the pretty bits. Um, Kathy didn't have one of those, so I'm gonna use this pretty little like tulipy looking bowl. And this is a really easy recipe. There's just a lot of fruit, um, I'm going to make mine with whipped cream. Some people use pudding, although I put a little bit of vanilla, instant vanilla pudding mix into my whipped cream as I'm whipping it. I also like to put a little a little liquor. Um, and I just put a little bit of Cointreau in this one. That's what we're gonna do, because I think that the oranginess would be really nice with some of these fruits and things. Um, it's not gonna be enough for anyone to really notice. If you don't drink, you don't need to use it. Um, I'm not concerned with my kids having it because literally there will be like half an ounce in all of this whole recipe. And so what they're getting is minuscule. Um, it's really just for flavor. So um, I'll go through my ingredients and I've got whipping cream and the instant pudding to go with that. And I've got some Cointreau and I've got lady fingers. So, um, the grocery store didn't have the soft, like, sponge cake lady fingers. They only had these crunchy ones. So I may try to make some of my stuff a little bit wetter just to make those not so crispy. Um, you can also use um, shortcake would be good. You know those pre-made ones that you get when you make strawberry shortcake, those little, you can just chop those up and make little pieces. All this is is just layering a bunch of stuff. So. On top, those layers are going to be the whipping cream, the lady fingers, and fruits. And I have strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Feel free to use whatever you want. Um, citrus things like, um, for instance, I tried one once with mangoes. Doesn't really work. It really eats at that cream. You don't want to. You don't want to do that. Oranges, maybe like you could use some canned mandarin oranges if you rinse them off and none of them break open. When they break open, again, that citrus, that just really eats away at it. Um, although I really love mandarin oranges in it. I also really love peaches, uh, but they too are like slippery and slimy and they got a lot of juice in them. So sometimes, actually that would be good with these crunchy lady fingers, um, but I don't have any peaches. So this is what I've got. And we'll just go ahead and get started. First thing, I've rinsed everything. I've cleaned all my, my fruits and I am just going to Slice up my strawberries. Um, you can slice them really pretty. You can make them really neat. I just make them bite size and that's about what I need to do with that. Some people like to make their trifle and each layer be a different fruit. I just mix mine all together. It is six and one half dozen of the other. So as I'm doing this, as I put the strawberries in, I've also got this bowl of raspberries and blueberries here next to me. And to make it easier in the end, um, because I like all of my strawberries, or all of my berries to be mixed together, I just throw some, some blueberries and raspberries in along with the strawberries, so they're kind of already mixed. Some people do this, um, you know, you just stir it up, that's fine too, whatever. Um, other people will do like each layer, a different, a different kind of fruit or something. It is entirely up to you. This is one of those recipes that I love because it's really easy. Um, and you can totally make it your own. Do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, for instance, today I'm using Cointreau. At home I have this really wonderful cherry Grand Marnier and the cherry and the orangey bit that's just behind it is really awesome for this. Um, you know, you, you could use like coconut rum. If you love coconut, go for it. You know, make this your own recipe and, and do it your way. Okay, so I've got all of my berries, they're ready to go. I am gonna put just a little bit of sugar in there. Um, and you don't obviously, you don't need that, 
but it makes the strawberries give off a little bit of juice. Um, and I would like a little extra juice in this simply because I had to get the crunchy lady fingers and I don't love the crunchy lady fingers. They're okay. Um, they're really amazing um, for tiramisu and stuff, but I just prefer things to be softer, not so crunchy. Um, but it also adds a nice contrast to the whipping cream that's going to be in here. So we'll set this aside now that I've got some, some sugar in there. And I'm going to pull my mixer in. Not my mixer, my mother-in-law's mixer. And all right. So we're just going to use some whipping cream. You know I don't like to measure things very much, um, so some I'm going to use. This is this is a quart. I'm probably going to use half a quart to start with if I feel like this is a pretty small bowl, so I probably don't even really need that much when I think about how much I have in the way of strawberries and, um, and cream. So, you know, if I have too much, I'll just make two bowls worth, and maybe the other bowl isn't going to be, like, fancy and glass-sided and pretty, but... Whatever, it'll be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in. And I don't know why, but I always shake heavy whipping cream before I use it. I always feel like, it, you know, if there's any little fat blocks in there, you want those, right? Because they make this nice and fluffy. Okay, so I'm at very soft peaks on this right now. It's it's really really soft. Um, you can see that it's not really going to hold it if I if I jiggle it. So I want to go a little bit further. And once it gets to this point, like I was just washing dishes while this was whipping, um, but because I like to clean as I go, I think that's a really important thing in a kitchen. My husband hasn't grasped that concept yet, have you, darling? I do whatever I'm told. That's a load of horse crap. Um, so when it gets to this point, I want to watch it because I don't want to turn this into butter because butter would do no good for me. So I'm just going to start it back up. Okay, so um, it's whipped pretty well. We're still at soft peaks, but it's holding its own right now. So I'm going to put just a little bit of this instant vanilla pudding. Uh, Really, I'm doing it for the flavor, not for any other reason, and I'm not going to put a ton in. If you don't have this, but you can find like vanilla flavored sugar, that works really well too. And in, in Europe, they always have these wonderful, like, it's, I don't even know what it's called, Mark. Do you a remember? Packet of vanilla. The little packet of powdered, van powdered vanilla, but it's sugar. Um, my, yeah, it is. It's powdered vanilla. That's what it is. And my yaya used to, every time anyone went to Europe, she was like, bring me some home because it's really nice to have on hand. I don't know why I can't find it in the States, but this works and it works pretty well. So I'm just going to put maybe, I'm going to measure it for you. We're going to measure it. Okay. So we're going to measure it. We're just going to guesstimate. I'm going to say what I use yeah, that's about what I'm going to use. Okay, so a little less than a quarter a cup. Um, and that's just my own preference. You do it your way. It's not a big deal if you do more or less. I would imagine if you did a lot more, it would kind of get glumpy in there. Um, and you know what? You can leave it out entirely. Or you can just make regular pudding and use that instead of whipped cream. It's entirely up to you. Fun fact. See how this is all bent? This is because one time I threw it in the sink and then turned on the, the, the garbage disposal. disposal. And 30 years later, it still works just fine. It's See? It's still being used. That's right. The garbage disposal didn't make it, but <laughs> uh, Mark also set this kitchen on fire once trying to make, was it donuts, dear? No, it was, I think, eggs. I don't know anybody that can set a fire on, uh, kitchen on fire to make eggs. Because the hood is not over this, so it was right up there. Oh, Lord. Okay, so as that mixes, I'm going to add in, it like, maybe a shot. Maybe. It's more like three quarters of an ounce. I don't know. It's not much. Um, just enough to give it some flavor. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and continue whipping this and drizzle this in slowly. See, it is really nice and thick. 
And I'm going to take this out and I'm going to scrape down the sides just a little bit, make sure all that's folded together nicely. And it's not. I've got, I can see just a couple little places where there's some vanilla. <laughs> a little of that pudding is kind of on its own. So I'm gonna stir this slowly with the machine. Uh, just to incorporate that because I don't want to whip any more into this. If I whip more, we're going to have butter um, and I don't want butter. That would suck. Okay, so I've scraped down my sides. Um, this is really nice and thick. Not yet to butter, but not too far off actually. I've, I've whipped it pretty well. And also adding that dry ingredient makes it kind of glump up together a little bit more. So I'm going to set this off to the side. So I have my bowl and I'm all ready to go and I've got my little lady fingers and I'm gonna just lay them in the bottom. Just set them here. And all the ones that are broken, and there will be broken ones, there always are, especially with these crunchy hard ones, those are really great to fill in on the sides. And of course the one broken ones at the end of this package. Maybe I've got broken ones available over here. Not really. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and break a couple. And we're just gonna kind of squeeze those in. Got a nice little layer. This is not the best bowl for this. Flat bottom bowls work best because you can lay everything out really nice and neat. And I can't really do that with, with this fluted bowl, but that's okay. Um, it'll be fine. And you know, like I said, we're, we're going to a barbecue and it's really good family friends. Um, so nobody's gonna care if it's not perfect. Remember that, nothing has to be perfect. So I'm just gonna, Push that down. Okay, so you know how I said it's difficult to cook in someone else's kitchen? Love my mother-in-law, she is an awesome person, but she doesn't own an offset spatula, which is the easiest way to smear these things around. Maybe she does own one. I just can't find it in her drawer, and Mark has absolutely no idea what's in his mother's kitchen. So we're just gonna, we're gonna wing it, no big deal. Um, all right, so I've got all of that in there kind of smeared it around and I'm just going to throw some berries on top. Make a nice little layer. And we're gonna cover that with more lady fingers. Snug these little puppies right in there. Oh, I've got a couple broken ones. Save the broken ones for the end for where you have to wedge things in. Okay, let's see. You can see the little layers. This one, again, is not quite perfect because it's, I got a funky bowl and it's not working quite as well as it should. But normally you'd have these really bright, colorful, beautiful layers. Um, and I don't, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna taste just as good as, as any other time. So we're just gonna put this last layer on. And this one, I'm just gonna smooth the cream on. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put any cookies on, but I will um, cut some fruit and make it look pretty. Okay, so, you know, when you're making things like this and you're cooking for some, you know, in someone else's kitchen and it's all last minute, don't put any kind of pressure on yourself to make things perfect or anything like that. You know what, because it's, it's your presence that is important and the fact that you gave an effort to to give to an event at someone else's home or something like that. If I were at home, this would probably look a lot more beautiful and it would be fancier, but you know what? It doesn't it doesn't really matter because it's all about all of us getting together and having some time and making good food that tastes good. Um, so how it looks isn't the be all end all. But this isn't too bad. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm disappointed I don't have another layer that you can see right there, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna cut up a few little berries and make it pretty on top and then we're done. All right, so I've got a beautiful strawberry right here and I'm going to attempt to fan a couple of these. 
it always takes me a few tries. Um, I am not the best at making beautiful things out of, you know how people can like cut tomatoes and they look like swans or something, you know, I don't, I don't have that gift, but I do try to make these pretty. So to do that, I just slice it and then just kind of push all the bits apart and kind of squeeze the back, <laughs> squeeze the back in. We'll just set that shoot. <laughs> Like I said, doesn't have to be beautiful. All right, we'll just set that right in there. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of those around the sides and um, I will put some raspberries and blueberries in the middle. So the only thing that I'm really trying to do with these strawberries that I'm decorating with is I try to get them about the same size because if you watched when I was cutting, I got a couple of strawberries in this in this pack that were like the mother of all strawberries. These things like could be their own planets, no joke. So I'm trying to get these to sort of be relatively their own, the, the same size. Some are a little smaller, some are a little bigger, but I don't want to have like one of those, you know, monstrous ones and then a whole bunch of tiny ones. Um, and maybe that's just me and my art school background needing to have some symmetry, but symmetry isn't everything. So on go some blueberries for pretty and I will throw some raspberries in there too. I like to set the raspberries poking up. Four, five, that's beautiful. There's a spot for a big old blueberry in the middle. There we go. So there's a trifle and um, it's not perfect, but you know what? My working conditions weren't my perfect. Um, so although I do appreciate my mother-in-law letting me cook in her kitchen, whenever we come here, she and I cook together. We do a lot of stuff, but um, she's not getting her hair done. So I'm going to do this so that we have a really good dessert for our barbecue tonight. Anyway, I hope that you guys um, enjoy this. Try it. Fiddle with the recipe. Um, try different flavorings in your whipped cream. You can do, like I said, you can do vanilla. You can do, you can do rum. You can do brandy. There's just all sorts of stuff. My in-laws happen to have some Cointreau, and I love orange. It's also, orange is one of my mother-in-law, Kathy's favorite flavors. So why not go and do something like that for her? So that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you try it and you really like it or you have any issues with it, leave um, some, some comments down below and I'm happy. I will try my very best to get back to you and um, help you work through any problems or maybe make suggestions um, to make it a little bit easier. So thanks. We'll see you later. He always catches me like in the blender or the spatula or something, but I can't help it. I'm like a child. It's so good. It's just a little bit orangey and a little bit vanilla y. Kind of like, mmm. Kind of like a dreamsicle almost. Uh huh. It's kind of perfect. Mm hmm.